<clears throat> all right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Inventor. So you open up Inventor and all of a sudden, hey, phase three is not there, okay? Don't freak out. I'm going to show you guys how to get it and how to make it show up and everything else. So first thing we actually have to do is go find File Explorer. So go to your Start menu here. Yours is going to be bottom left-hand corner. All the way down to Windows Systems. Click on it. Find File Explorer. Okay, click on that. And this is what should pop up. Okay. Um, on your file folder, let me click on this. All right. You should get this. You can find this PC, click on it, and you should see your student ID folder. Once you see your student ID folder, <clears throat> find where your file is in R. Okay. So mine's kind of buried in a bunch of these. So right here is all of mine. Okay. I've got phase three, IPJ here. There's my raindrop one, right? I want that in phase three. So we need to create a folder first. So right click anywhere here, new folder, click on it, and just type in phase three, All right? <clears throat> Once you have it, I'm gonna delete this because I don't need this. Once you have your phase three folder here, I just wanna take this and this and put it in phase three. So what I'm gonna do is go click and drag and put it in phase three. Click and drag, or you can go click, control X, or right click, cut, double click on phase three, and paste. All right? So there's my phase three. All right? They're all in the proper folder and everything else. So, how do we get that to pop up on Inventor? Let me show you. Let me click over to Inventor. So, right here, phase three is still not there, right? It's not a big deal. So, go here to projects. All right? Go to projects. And it's telling me, hey, can't find phase three. What's going on? Just hit OK. So here we still don't see it. Just go here to browse. All right? Remember, we created that folder already, so it's there. Go to your student ID. Find where your folder is. There's my phase three folder, right? Click on phase three and click on the IPJ file. That will tell the computer, oh, OK, that's where it is. And I hit done and your raindrop should be in there, okay? If that doesn't work, let me know. I can help you out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create your next shape, which is an eccentric cam, or eccentric circle cam. So go ahead and click IPT, or Inventor Part, or IPT. Click on that. Wait for it to load. Okay, so once we have it, we're going to go ahead and 2D sketch. And this is pretty simple. We'll click on the XY plane. All right, we're gonna click on circle. We'll just put it right in that center, right there. So measure it out that way. We're gonna click this dimension, and we're gonna dimension the circle right away. Notice this is gonna be D zero, right? Just remember that. We're gonna need that later. We're gonna do this at um, two point five zero, and everything else. Since that's our D zero, remember. Um, that will change later on depending on your shape and all that stuff. Now we just got to put the uh, axle part here and everything else. Now, before I do this, um, <clears throat> we're going to create this parametric, and then we're going to go back later on to the raindrop one and change that. But for now, um, I'm going to go ahead and draw my axle as well. All right. So I'm going to click on circle again. And I want to make sure that that's over here, right? So I could just measure it out this way. Make sure, but if you don't trust yourself, just do this. Go ahead and go to line, construction line again. Click on this right here, all right, right there. And you're going to get that dotted line. Hit escape. What you're going to do here is go and dimension now. Click on this dimension, right? I actually want this to be one fourth of my D0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. And click this, divided by four, okay, and there. All right. So again, for this one, D04, we just clicked on line, make sure the construction one is on, and everything else. Now, I'm going to do this two different ways. You we're going to draw the circle for it now. You need to turn this off, okay? But let's pretend that you didn't, because some of you guys had this error earlier. And I'm just going to leave that on. I'm going to draw my circle. And I'm going to put it at the end of this line right there. 
Okay, boom, right there. Oh, it's still dotted. Not a big deal. Hit escape on your keyboard, highlight that circle, and then unclick this, boom, it's now a circle. All right, now I wanna dimension this axle to be the same size as the other one, and put down three comma one sixteenths. Enter, all right? So that's all that is for it. There's your eccentric circle. Now we're just gonna to have to extrude it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and finish sketch and everything else. All right, and then we're gonna extrude. We're gonna extrude this the same as last time, and I think it's 0.125, right? Oh, it's not extruding. Profile, make sure that's highlighted. Click on the actual circle, boom. I like it going away from me. It doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna hit okay. There's your eccentric circle can. Now we're not done. We're gonna do something else here. And what we're gonna do is right here in extrusion, we're gonna change this name of it because we're gonna do a couple of things and I wanna know what I'm doing. So right here in extrusion, I want you to go right click on it, right? You'll see all of these things on here. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna go to properties right there. And we're gonna call this extrusion um, uh, a, a name to make sure we know what we're doing. So this one, we're just gonna call this whole cam ext for extrusion, all right? And hit okay, boom. All that's gonna do is change it so we know that extrusion, this extrusion was our first one and we know what's going on, all right? Make sure you save this. So if we did this properly, go to file, save as, and look, it's in phase three. We're gonna call this eccentric cam or eccentric circle. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And make sure it's IPT and save, boom, we're done. All right, we're gonna work on the parametric stuff later on, so don't worry about that.